Hey everyone, it's Helen, and today I'm going to show you how to pigment pulp with tempera paint, which is a great, it's an inexpensive solution and a good uh, way to color pulp for working with kids. Now you don't need much to do this, just some pulp. I've got some recycled pulp that I pulped in my blender. Um, you could also use cotton lint or abaca, any pulp that you have. Tempera paint and retention aid. Retention aid is the key ingredient. It makes the color stick to the pulp and not just float in the water. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. And then just something to stir with, like a plastic spoon. And there are a couple different ways you can do this. I'm going to just put color right in my pulp, but you could also mix your color up together um, first in another container to get the color you want. And then the amount you need really depends on how much. I'm just gonna do some pulp painting with this, so I just need a little bit. But if you needed to do a whole batch, you know, proportionally, you'll need a lot more. So I'm gonna, instead of just using pure green, I like to make my own color. So I'm gonna mix yellow. So I'm gonna start with the lighter color, put some in there. So you think, it was just like a squirt. And there is such a thing as adding too much color. Um, the retention aid won't be able to hold it. So you don't want to go too, too heavy. So that's a nice yellow. I could add a little more. I started out with my paper was kind of cream colored, so it already was a little yellowy. So I probably added a half teaspoon. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of blue, like a drop and see how that shifts the color. Now, if you're doing a large amount and you have a paint mixer or a soup blender, it really helps mix the color in if it, it has any density to it. I'm kind of liking that green. Maybe add a tiny bit more. See how it's a little blobby in there? You don't want that. So sometimes I take my hand. And again, I could use a soup blender, but I'd probably want to have it in a little bit of a larger container. So that looks pretty good. So now let's look at it. It's going to be hard to see, but the color really is... It's in the water. It's not really attaching to the fiber yet. And so what would happen if I make a sheet with this is most of the color would bleed out and it would end up on my felts or whatever I'm cooching onto and not in my paper, which is not what we want. So I've got a retention aid in this jar also. So now you don't wanna overdo it with the retention aid, you can actually add too much and then it reverses. So I'm just gonna add maybe a quarter teaspoon. I'll stir that up. So you can see how the water is completely clear. You're seeing a little bit of pulp but the water is clear, the pulp, uh, the color has attached to the fiber. So here's an example with another, a darker color, blue. So can you see how the water is really blue and the pulp is more white still? It's, it's got a little blue in it, but we want all of that color to go into the pulp. So again, add about a half teaspoon. And in some cases, some colors take longer to take, like you have to let them sit overnight. But often it happens right away. Look at that, the water's completely clear. So that's what you want. You want that water to be clear so that you have the nice bright color in your pulp. Happy painting.